Hey folks, so I want to show you this cool app that I built. Uh, it takes multiple stock tickers from the S&P 500, two or three or four, whatever you want. It gives us the latest articles from um, on the internet uh, by using AlphaVantage API. And then if we ask it a question, our large language model, it will actually create a plotly graph for us. In this case, we're asking it to create a distribution, right? Um, a histogram. So we can see the comparison between Meta and Tesla. But you can add more stock tickers. Let's add Apple, for example. And then let's give it, let's query the stock again. It's going to give us um, new uh, data with uh, also Apple. And now we can ask another question. We can say to our Llama 3, Please create a scatter plot with some regression line. And now you can see uh, a regression line um, that maps the correlation between relevance and sentiment, these two columns. And so this is really awesome because these articles are recent, are either from today or from yesterday. This is from today, July 14th. And every stock taker using AlphaVantage API is going to give us uh, articles uh, from the last 10 days for these uh, for these stocks. And so this is what's different from the previous video that you can find under the in the description section. Uh, here I have multiple uh, drop down selections. In the last video we only have one drop down selection and this one we have we have multiples. you can choose three, four, five, whatever you want. Just um, pay attention to your alpha vantage key if you're using alpha vantage, the free token, um, also, in the description under the video, you can only do 25 uh, calls per day, just so you know. All right, so let's go over the code and see what's different in this app compared to the one from last week. Uh, as a reminder, uh, we do have uh, monthly uh, projects on Charming Data that I uh, highly encourage you to join because it's free and it's uh, open for everybody. And this monthly projects are focused on uh, data visualization and AI to help you build your career uh, projects portfolio and uh, develop your career in AI. So this, this month we're working on this project, Conflicts and Casualties. Last month we worked on um, Neural Style Transfer, then we had Colombian Wildfires, and we're all working together. We meet every Monday. It's a great opportunity uh, to see other people, to work together, and to develop your portfolio. Specifically, this app, uh, I'm going to put the code here in the Langchain Education space. So come check us out. All right, let me close this article and let's go into the code. Um, you'll see here in the code that the app multiple.py file, most of this, uh, all of this, I went over in the first video that you can find above here in the link above. Um, importing the libraries, uh, using AlphaVantage. Uh, well, in this case, we're you know, you're going to use this AlphaVantage key from the EMV file that we have right here. This is our we're prompting or setting up our large language model, our system to be a Plotly expert and only make graphs with Plotly with the code. That is why you see the code down here and the explanation for the code. And then we have the layout. The difference now is that multi true inside drop down. So we can choose multiple drop down options and not only one, like in the last uh, application. And we have a button, right? We only query the Alpha Vintage API once we click on this button right here, right there. Now we have our button. And so now we have our callback. Here is a callback, right? We take, we listen to the button clicks, and then we once the button is clicked, this function will be activated, and then the stock selected will represent the list of stock tickers from our dropdown. Um, if the list is empty, if there's nothing in the dropdown, like this, then don't do anything. If the list has less than two tickers, like only one, don't do anything, right? Only if it has two or more, because I want the user to choose multiple, then it's going to execute this else part. And here it's going to say, go through all the stock tickers, uh, at least number, 0, 1, 2, 3, however many you have, and um, 
execute this function, query news, that takes uh, the stock, right? Either the first stock, the second stock, the third stock, and the alpha vintage key, and spits out a pandas data frame. Now this right here, query news, you will see from the import from news multiple query news, and this is the file. Also, you can find this file in the GitHub repository. And this is a function really, taking the stock symbol, the alpha vantage API, creating the string that alpha vantage understands with the date, 10, 10 days back, the symbol, the key, and uh, creating a pandas data frame that has these columns with the rows uh, representing each article for that stock, right? So that's why you see all these uh, names of the columns. These are the columns that we have uh, here when we query the stocks, all these columns. All right, this also I go over in the last video, so check it out if you wanna learn more about each line of code inside this file. And now if we go back to the main app, we'll see, go back to line 76, now I have uh, I'm going to put this news uh, data frame inside this empty list for all two, three, four stocks that I chose. And then I'm going to concact all these uh, data frames into one pandas data frame, which you can see here, one pandas data frame with all the tickers. And then I'm going to um, uh, randomize the, the initial um, the, the in the uh, ticker uh, column. So I have most likely all tickers in the first 10 rows. And this is because um, when I invoke the chain, I only give it 10 rows. So I want to make sure that it has all the information that it needs of this data set. And then I save it. And you have to save your file into the root folder of where your app exists because eventually we are going to tell the large language model to create code, right? Create code that explains to us how to build a Plotly graph, right? Uh, let's see what it says, just build the best graph. Let's see what it builds here. Might not build the best graph if I don't give it more instructions. Well, I have a regular uh, bar chart, I guess. Um, and so you see, it gives an explanation of the code and its thinking process, and then it gives us the code. So. Uh, this code right here is going to execute read, EC, read CSV news multi.csv, right? So this file has to exist. If you go back to line 86, it has to exist inside your root folder. And that's it. Once we have our file, we have our columns, we build our AG grid, we save the file into the client's browser with the DCC store, and everything is history. Everything was already explained, the second callback in the uh, uh, previous video um, of how we are uh, querying, uh, the, uh, how we are invoking the chain, uh, creating the plotly graph, displaying on the page, and displaying the uh, result of the large language model. All right, so I hope it was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Come join Charming Data. Say hello to everybody and join our projects for career development uh, projects. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Always remember, we're better together, so help each other out.